guys welcome back to my channel i am super 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 excited to have you join me here on the civil and clear quality lifestyle so before we get started i just want to say guys we have made it we have finally reached the 100 subscriber milestone yay <laughs> So I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who has taken the time to click the red button and subscribe. And if you are here, you are watching this and you're not yet subscribed, please, please, please click the subscribe button. It's free, guys. There is no monthly subscription fee or anything like that. You just subscribe and then that's it. So today we are talking about the second mistake that men make in relationship and we're talking about cheating. We know that cheating guys is a very burning issue all over everywhere you go women are crying about cheating so, um obviously uh, the first thing that i want to talk about is what is cheating we all know that cheating is having an intimate relationship whether sexual whether emotional with someone else or with a person other than your partner that you have made your commitment to that's just wrong so now today i want us to discuss why do men cheat after that we will you know we will explore other avenues of cheating but i feel like in today's video we're only going to cover why men cheat so i have here five reasons i hope it's five i have five reasons that i personally guys i'm not saying anyone or whoever or i'm not saying like this is you know the reasons that i've observed so the first reason is immaturity okay this is from a person that does not fully understand that the choice that they made can hurt their partner it can hurt their kids they can even lose their job it can even hurt their reputation i mean for example guys here's a practical example malus gigab our honorable uh, former minister you know what he went through just because he made a decision that he's going to cheat on his wife you think about his kids like that's one thing that i was thinking about i was like yo for the whole world to see your private part so i feel like with each and every reason i should give Nyana, uh, my two cents Nyana, to the guys out there uh, advice so here's an advice to all the guys out there don't make promises that you're not gonna keep that's the first advice advice number two make sure that you are ready if you want to go and marry someone if you want to go and be you know settle down decide that you want to settle down make sure that you are ready for this marriage is not about feelings it's a decision that you make that i want to be with this, with this person i want to build a life with this person i want to build a home with this person hence therefore you know <laughs> therefore i'm making this decision that i'm going to forsake all others whatever it is that you're feeling right now it will fade away that is why it is recommended that before you marry someone make sure that you get to know them so number two uh is insecurities um, i know that insecurities you know can make a lot of us even if it's not you know with cheating or with um what we're talking about now but insecurities can make you do a lot of stupid things so we also have men who are so insecure about themselves they might be insecure because they don't think they're handsome so with these guys that don't don't feel like they're handsome or they don't feel attractive but then they have money and this happens a lot they use that money to get um girls or to get women to be with them and then that boosts their yeah, self-esteem but the thing is a self-confidence that you boost with external things it does not last hence you are going to be a serial cheater because now you have money you have the resources and obviously there will be women there are those women that are always willing you know, to go out with a guy that has money so you will be throwing this money around you will be getting all these women and you're not getting you feel like you're not getting enough attention at home so you keep on doing this it's going to be like a vicious cycle it will never stop building yourself from within your confidence from within you get that from achieving something doing something about your life and achieving something then that's how you get 
and a, a healthy self-esteem and also there are many other types of insecurities obviously i'm not gonna explore everything because i don't know everything and i don't even have time for all the others that i know and this is what i have the third one is anger or revenge now these are the guys that are angry at their wives angry at their girlfriends for whatever reason and they feel like i want to get back at her so in order for me to get get back at her i'm just gonna cheat on her so what i'm gonna do i'm just gonna go and sleep with a best friend or i'm gonna go and date that colleague or whatever that she was so insecure about so just to get back at her do this thing only to find that oh my god the damage is so so bad and you can't take it back what's done is done so on this one if you're angry or you're mad or uh, at your partner revenge is not the way to go obviously talk it out if you're too angry give it some time cool off and then you will come back to talk about it or you will figure it out you will figure out what it is that you need to do moving forward the fourth one is unrealistic expectations and i think i was listening to miles monroe um the other day and he said something about you know people getting into marriage with unrealistic expectations so these are the people that don't prepare themselves for marriage hence we say go for premarital counseling it's really important and read books on marriage guys it's very important get advice talk to as many married people as you can you don't get married with those expectations you know where you think every day your husband is gonna come from work hey why do i say husband hey like i'm so used to speaking to the ladies your husband is gonna come from work with a bouquet of flowers and the chocolate on the other hand every day like it's all about you he doesn't get tired but today we're speaking to the guys don't expect that every day you will come back from work or your wife will come back from work you know always feeling sexy feeling hot you know and she'll always be this you know hot mama always in a tight dress and then you know always cooking nice food always in the mood to talk to you always in the mood for everything always hot always sleeping in a lingerie hi no it's not like that this is a human being like you you you, you always you also get tired you also sometimes um get in a bad mood sometimes you got in a fight at work you come back you don't want to be bothered you are tired so i mean you must be realistic it's not every day that your wife is going to be looking all pretty sometimes she had a rough day at work she comes back she's tired she just wants to sit down and relax like there's a lot of things guys but you will never know unless you ask number five or number four i don't remember is having an i don't want to say having friendships with the opposite sex but having intimate friendships you know those intimate friendships with the opposite sex up to a point where your partner feels threatened that is a problem and that might also lead to cheating so when you are in a relationship with someone you create a bond that allows them to feel safe to feel loved to feel cared for so um that bond makes your partner feel like you know you have a special bond that only she has with you you do not have with someone else so that bond can be broken the minute you let someone into that space the minute you create that kind of a bond with another woman obviously if you have friends of the opposite sex if you have female friends be it a colleague or be it your long-term friend or whatever now that you have a partner obviously there has to be a boundary that you cannot cross so if it's a friend from work or it's a friend from school obviously we'll talk from time to time but this thing of now you must talk every day but now if now the call is just to call me to say hi i was just saying hi how's it going what do i do which is not a problem but now if it has to be every day now it becomes weird okay so and now your partner if your partner has an issue with this and and you're like oh you're just insecure don't be jealous you're insecure yara, yara, yara. Ching, ching, ching. now that becomes a problem so a lot of times guys 
take this thing very lightly and they take this for granted and then they fall into this trap they find that oh i don't know what happened you know the one minute we were talking the next, next minute one thing led to another how did that one thing lead to another you put yourself in that situation so it, you know it takes a lot of emotional intelligence for a guy to see it from afar so yes we will talk about what if it's well we'll talk about work obviously we'll sleep in that with we'll sleeping a little bit of personal stuff but it cannot go beyond now that whenever a woman has to come to you for everything if she wants a relationship advice she comes to you if she wants something about you whatever she comes to you if she wants to buy a car she comes to you if she wants to buy a house she comes to you make sure that you do not create that bond because now it will cause this thing that even if you are fighting with your wife you can go a week without talking to your wife and you won't even see it and you won't even mind because now there's this woman that you talk into every day so you don't even mind you don't even care you see so it's very dangerous even for women to have those kinds of friends it's dangerous make sure that your best friend is your partner uh, in this case your best friend is your wife so the last um point and which this point i feel like all the other points all the other aspects they stem from this one this is selfishness so this is a person who you know they only think of themselves they don't think of anyone but themselves and this guy can keep lies can keep secrets and he can keep all kinds of things from his wife without even feeling sorry or feeling remorse or even regretting what he's doing most men cheat because they're selfish i don't care if you your wife you will say your wife gained weight so now that's why you're cheating uh your wife is boring your wife doesn't want to go out your wife is too busy there are so many excuses that men come up with just to justify cheating but it all boils down to selfishness so speak to your wife she will understand that listen this is how i'm feeling um i feel like you don't you know pay attention to me you don't listen to me you don't do this can we go for counseling or can we do this can we do that can we read this book together that will really help but cheating does not help it does more damage than good so yes that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching please don't forget to like share and subscribe and please comment down below if you have any input or any um, idea that we you have something that we can speak about please also put it on the comment and it will be much much appreciated thank you so much and see you again on the next video bye